My son loves Pokemon, but being the youngest of four kids and the only boy, this is the first time he's ever had his own bedroom. So I decided to give him a surprise Pokemon bedroom makeover for his ninth birthday. He really wants shelves to display all of his Pokemon swag and his favorite cards, so I came up with a way to make the shelves look like a Pokeball. I painted a 48 inch circle and then cut shelves using 1x6 poplar. I spray painted brackets to match the wall color for each of the three sections. It was a little hard to find decor items that weren't super cheesy, so I came up with a few projects on my own. I can't wait to finish up the other projects and show him his new bedroom tomorrow. To my son's bedroom, I decided he needed a little wall art. I've had these 8x10 frames for a couple years and I knew they'd be perfect for this project. I taped half of them up and then spray painted the other half red. Then I used a small piece of black washi tape for the line at the center. I purchased digital copies of these adorable watercolor Pokemon prints on Etsy and then had them printed at Office Depot. And yes, I promise I'll film his reaction tonight when he sees everything for the first time. Let's get this Pokemon bedroom reveal started. I have a few surprises for you that I think you're going to love. LED lights and the gamer chairs fit perfect under his mini loft bed. Of course, I added the buttons to the rugs, and check out this one I added to the shelf. I bought almost everything including the cute planters off Amazon, and have them listed in my bio. I'll show you these Karazard lamps, all lit up at night at the end. Each of my kids have their own books and bookshelves in their bedrooms. And of course Legos. Can you guess his favorite Pokemon? These little lamps are so amazing and both change colors. So cool. When my client approached me and asked for help with organizing her laundry closet, I knew that she needed some more storage. So I got to work by first moving the washer and dryer out of the way a little bit and then removing the old wire shelving. I then used 1x4s as cleats for some new shelving and then some plywood and 1x12s and I painted the cleats so that they would blend in with the wall a little bit and trimmed my shelves with 1x2 and then I did a counter to go on top of the washer and dryer to give a little bit more storage and there we go, much better. Red light, green light, stop it, go, better, take it, nice and slow, hit him with the chopper, whoa, you know. I thought I'd take you on a laundry closet tour and answer a few questions that I keep getting asked, including this one. Yes, the laundry soap is now in the glass decanter. The light blue one is fabric softener, and I put the measuring lids in these cute bowls right below to catch drips. On the top shelf, we put items she doesn't use very often, but she can actually still reach. The clear containers have her dryer sheets and dryer balls that are currently in the dryer. I installed a closet rod for hanging clothes. Please ignore the holes in the ceiling. She lives in an apartment, and maintenance is doing some work. I made cutouts for the electrical and plumbing, and I made everything easily removable for maintenance of the machines. My favorite part is this mini lint trash can. How cute is that? And another fun bowl for spare change. As you can see, I can reach the top shelf and I'm five foot six, so is my client. If you are shorter, there is this new invention called the stepladder. When I showed you guys my client's laundry room makeover, I told you I was simultaneously working on helping her organize her closet under the stairs. We did this one just like the other one. We first took everything out and I helped her sort through it and then I came up with a plan. I decided for this one I was going to just use some pre-made shelves rather than building shelves since again this is a rental and then I helped her organize. We were using this for cleaning supplies and some tools, and then a few items from her kitchen. <laughs> 